Hey, what's going on, G-Shock Society? It's your boy G-Dub, G-Shock Warrior Three Ones, TCF Captain, coming to you guys live, um, January tenth, the day after my trip to Soho. G-Shock, the only G-Shock store in the country. I went yesterday on the ninth. Um, trying to show you guys what I picked up. I'm gonna make a separate video talking about my experience there and how it was and all the stuff I did and so on and so forth. But um, unfortunately, there was no Burton, there was no DGK. But I had to pick up something anyway. You can't go to T-Shock Soho and not get a watch. It just doesn't work that way. Um, yeah, so I guess we can get straight into it. Um, this is, where do I even start? We'll go with the box. Regular black box. Um, you see it right there, GD100 HC4. It's my first GD100 module. I mean model. Turns out being a hyper color too. Um, yeah regular black black box um here's your tin now this is the exciting part about this watch even before i picked it up um well i guess i went to soho and looked for a burton or a dgk and didn't have either you can't go to soho now pick anything up um the gd100 hyper colors they had the series there the hc one four and seven the one is the black with the lime green inside. The four is this one I'm about to show you. And then the seven is the white with the orange display. Um, <clears throat> couldn't decide <laughs> between the HC1 and the HC4. Mm, Tycho was there, of course. So I had to ask Tycho after like 10, 15 minutes of me and my girlfriend going back and forth. We couldn't decide. I was like, yo, Tycho, which one do I pick? And he said, go with the red. I was like, all right, I'll go with the red. Um, and then they went and got the red one for me in the, uh, you know, in the back in the stock room. Turns out the last red one they had was the one that was on display. And at first I'm sitting here thinking, oh, okay, then they're probably just going to want to keep it on display. They're not going to sell it to me. But <laughs> um, but Tycho jumped in and goes, well, if you don't buy that last red one, I'm going to buy it. And I thought to myself, I was like, hold on, wait a minute. I have a chance to one-up Tycho on a watch. I'm going to go off and do it. And, you know, I told him I'll take the one on display. Just looked at it, make sure there was nothing wrong. Now, the best part is the tin is actually the stone gray tin as you see it's not your typical black tin meaning that this watch has been somewhere else this watch has been either canada europe australia japan this watch came from some other place um i'm i'm guessing europe because the manual this is why the manual was i wanted to show it to you guys look how thick this manual is on top of the warrant the old warranty cards that the, that um g-shocks come to that come with you know now they come with the um the actual card and the little plastic but the manual is actually in English. Watch, I'll zoom in for you. The manual is actually in English, German, French, English. I mean, English, German, French, Spanish, and Italian. So I'm led to believe that this watch came from Europe. So after it ended up in G-Shock Soho, obviously G-Shock Soho has been open for four weeks now. November it opened November 24th, November 28th, something like that. <clears throat> this watch somehow ended up there from God knows where. So, yeah, it's nice. Um, wasted three and a half minutes. Let's get to the review. Um, here's the top of your tin. Here's the phone piece, of course. Beautiful, beautiful place, Soho, but I don't want to talk about it much, but I'm just going to talk about this watch. Um, here it is. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. My last video, like I told you guys the videos that were coming, and then, you know, here I am giving you vid extra videos that weren't supposed to come. But that's cool, because I'm going to give you the ones I, I'm still going to get the Burton and the DGK, and hopefully the Bear Brick and the initial blue. But um, this is for all you guys who said the, H, the GA110 um, HC1 was too common, was a hyper color, and that too many people had it. Um, this is for you guys that said all that. Go on and tell me many people have this, because this is not a watch many people are willing to wear. Yeah, did you see that backlight? We'll get into that in a little bit. But let's go into that watch segment. Let me turn this flash on real quick. Let's get into that watch um, veteran segment and show you guys this piece up close and personal. And let me know what you guys think.
yeah but um as you can see a lot a lot a lot of details on this watch um let's start off with the fact that it's really really glossy speckled red paint it's actually a, this watch is actually a lot better looking in person i know in pictures it looks ridiculously insane but um red speckle on the paint you guys see i have the microfiber towel here because i was wiping it down because it catches a lot of fingerprints but i did wash my hands before this video so we're okay um you see the red speckle on the paint um let's go to the other band because the band guard is actually see-through so you can see right there you can see the holes right there poking in it's actually see-through red it's not glossy red to match <clears throat> you have your silver buckle of course nothing special there show you guys the tag real quick since i show you the tag but um d100 hc4 retailed for 110 of course it's g-shock soho so they had it for retail see i just touched the screen let me take the microfiber towel to it real quick all right um yeah uh it retailed actually they're not gonna sell it for anything more than retail it is g-shock um and then here we go with the bezel where most of the information on this watch is um you got black writing on the adjust mode reverse and forward um you got the orange buttons on both sides with that um, rigid look that the gd100 and ga110s have you can see right there see that yeah and then you have um g-shock up top written in blue a nice deep more royal blue than anything else protection down low written in lime green um, and then you go to the actual display where you got the GD100 is a really basic watch. Um, it has more modes and alarms than your 6900. This has five alarms, one snooze. Um, it has world time, of course. I should see the time here set. Um, I never done under. Oh, actually, I did the review on the Nigel, but I know a lot more of GD100s now than I did then. But um. You see that eye in the middle, the little one, the one on the left, shows you the tens in seconds, and then the one to the right counts the ones. Similar to, this would be what would be the um, two left eyes of a 6900 put in one, and then that would be your 6900 right eye. Um, if you're looking at a solar 6900, then this would be your right eye. Um, you see the two very small holes right here. The first one tells you the signal. If your hourly signal's on, that means it beeps at every hour. And then you have your alarm, and then you have your mute. If it's lit up, then that means that mode is set. Right now, my hourly time signal is set. Um, yeah. Um, as, as you can see, you got the really lime green display, positive display with the black digits. You see that? It's really nice. Um, you see the writing on the interface. You see right there it says shock resist. And then you have your search. Your select um, Casio up top on the interface right there written in blue you got your light pointing your light with the arrow pointing to the button world timer at the top you see the black trim in here in here and here um, around the um, lime green brim actually and then um, if you haven't noticed yet the lime green let me turn the flash off real quick but, um, well, that didn't help. The lime green, um, actually the orange around the two eyes is darker than the orange around the rest of the display, which is also really nice. It has a nice touch to it. Um, and then we can get to the backlight. So now I can hit this flash off, um, have focus on the piece. And it has super LED, um, dual both sides. Lime green, really, really bright, really, really bright, really beautiful, really sick. Um, GD100s are known to have um, different color lights. The GD100 MS1 has the red LED. You see how bright that is. You can really see the digits on camera. Obviously, you can see them online. I mean, in real life. But there you go. Let's see if turning off the light helps. Really, really sick, really bright. Lime green display, really nice. Super LED, make this watch pop. Um, yeah, this watch is just overall really, really sick. I'm really glad I picked it up. 
Um, there's no saying if I won't get the GD100 HC1 because it they were sitting next to each other. They both look really nice. Um, you saw the CE sticker on the back. I showed you guys. Um, yeah, I'm really, really happy with this pickup. Um, it takes a lot of people to wear watches with this many colors. Um, I know collectors are probably... Collectors really like this piece. I don't know anybody who hasn't liked this piece. But um, I know regular G wearers are probably like, whoa, that's way too much color for me. Um, truth be told, my opinion is a watch is an accessory. It was never made to coordinate with your outfit. Yesterday, Taika was wearing black and white, and he was wearing the orange um, King G, GX56. So, yeah, like I said, watches were never meant to coordinate with your outfit, and then coordinating went out the window with this watch because nobody's going to wear red, orange, dark orange, blue, lime green, all in the same outfit. So this is one of those watches you just wear. Like when you want to attract attention, you're wearing black and white, something simple. This watch is really, truly a coordinator's <laughs> worst nightmare, <laughs> which I have no problem with. I love dealing with these with watches like this. It takes a lot of balls to wear this watch. GD100, HD4, really glad with the pickup. Shout outs um, to that thing of ours, uh, TCF, all you guys. We have four new members. Um, you'll get the word on that eventually. Um, Adrian Monty. I guess if we're going to do this, that dude, um, S. Dot, Prince, Mike, me, Danny, Miguel, Yako, Taiko Moon, shout out to you. Um, you'll have a special shout out in the Soho video where I'll go over the stuff I got at the store and I'll talk about how my trip was. <clears throat> um, shout out to Mike Hughes, congratulations, he knows what I'm talking about. Um, Brian Garcia, Michael Myers, Star Remix, of course, have to, Archie Baker, um, Tori, got a shout out, Tori. Um, Master Guns, Chris, um, Chavo, of course, shout out to Mizzy, um, January 15th, remember, epic day, um, G-Shot calendar, even more and more people are being added to the list of who's actually going to show up, it's amazing, but yeah, overall, really happy with the pickup, really happy with the fact that it came in, um, Prince, <laughs> we were talking about these tins the other day, and I told you I'd never seen one in the U.S. and how I don't have one, and here we are. Next pickup turns out to be that. Look out for the Burton. Look out for the DGK, the Bear Break, the initial blue. Uh, yeah, overall beautiful piece. If you have a chance to still get on it somewhere near retail, I would do it. That's just me, though. I'm a collector. You know how we are. Um, definitely the brightest, most colorful watch in my collection. I have no problem with that. I love it. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pickup. Um, yeah, I guess I'm done. I'm sh I'm signing off. I'll be up soon with another uh, video on how my experience at Soho was. And my next video is probably one next week. Mm, you're going to see a lot on the 15th, which is Tuesday. Yeah, I just don't want to sign off. I'm sorry, guys. Love you guys. Shout out to Triple A, JP, my little brother. Um, everybody, if you're part of this movement, shock the world. Got nothing on today because I'm a lazy day at home. The crib. Home alone now. Girls at gym my brother's at the gym damn why am i at the gym guys i'm being lazy um yeah gd100 hc4 we gotta come up with a nickname for this guy this should have been the fruit salad but whatever hey hey i'm signing off your boy shock the world one g out of time don't follow your dreams take some